How's it going, y'all? We're going to open some dollar packs today. That is right. So far, we only got one person watching. That's okay. That is okay. I did not give any notice about this opening, but it's pretty big, I guess. They're just dollar packs, y'all, but I have gotten some pretty cool stuff out of dollar packs. We're going to go ahead and open up some miscellaneous actual booster packs throughout the video. And this essentially is testing out my life. Let's see if it lags out, like always. I did do some changes. Ooh, I'm almost home. I'll be here. Glalie Games. We're going to open some dollar packs. But yes, uh, let's just open up dollar packs. See how long the stream lasts. If anything does happen, I'll try to fix it as best I can. Let's see if we can't get through all these packs in one live stream. That would be great. Got sleeves ready. Got everything ready. I think I'm ready to go. But what I am going to do is I'm going to grab a handful and cut them with scissors. Speed things up a little bit. But these came out of the double, if you see right here, Pokemon Mini Booster 2-Pack. These came out of the two packers. This is how it's packaged and inside the box like this. I did manage to kit one and I didn't even realize it. it has three in there, y'all. That's right. I got three and I'm pretty sure I only paid for two, so that's pretty cool. But I already cut them all open, ripped them all out of the packs. The cellophane packs, the clear packs. Let me just get a handful. That sounds funny. Let's cut these bad boys without cutting the cards. That is the main goal. Set those off to the side. Yeah, if you're new to the channel, hit that sub, y'all, and hit that like. But if you're not new to the channel, then you already know we've been having some live stream issues, and that's not okay. Nobody wants to sit around watching a glitchy live where you can't even make out what's going on, especially when you're a Pokemon pooler, because the details of those cards are really important. People want to see all the awesome details. I'll do this a couple more times, and then we'll open up these packs. And then we'll just repeat the process. Honestly, that's too many. So fresh, so clean. Anybody get anything good from Dollar Packs? Drop it down in the comments. I, the best I probably got from the Dollar Pack was Cosmic Eclipse and I got a character card yep it was Steelix I think I put it on the channel but it was really 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 early when the channel first started so let's start with that see what happens everything's looking great so far we'll try to do the card trick a couple times depending on how long it takes What's up, Christine? Christino Rosas. Hi, catch them all. How are you? I'm doing great. We're just going to open some uh, dollar packs, and I just did the card trick wrong, so we should see the hitter if we get anything right off the bat. And it is a Litten, Carvana, and a Gold Bat. Do not expect much, y'all. The reason I did this, the reason I spent this much money on dollar packs, is because Unbroken Bonds is a set that does not come out on shelves a lot where I'm from. If, if ever it's going to come out on shelves again, I want to get that set done as much as possible. Found a bunch of dollar packs on Broken Bond, so I thought that's a great way to get the set somewhat done with the secret rares and all that being a, an exception because you're not likely to get tons of hits out of these packs. Just warning y'all. See what happens though. Let's see what we get. Tends to cool energy and we got a reverse so getting a reverse holographic is saying something we're gonna post up all our reverse holographics holographic cards and hopefully if we get any bangers that's just a bonus I'm doing great though got a coughing unbroken bonds nice set a metal core barrier 
and another reverse hollow. And these packs did not come directly from this box, y'all. I brought this box home from a family dollar. And then all these packs are coming from two different family dollars, which does make a difference because if you just bought all these back packs at one store, that one store only got one box with a certain amount of hits. Me picking from two different boxes, hopefully will up the odds on some cool cards. But like I said, these packs, dollar packs are extremely rough. Not something you want to buy for a hit. A Darumaka. Darumaka. And what I should have done, honestly, y'all, is bring out my uh, my paper to tell me what I'm missing out of the set so I can cross them off as I go. This pack wasn't quite open all the way. We got an Aeron. Seen that when I opened the pack. A Fairy Charm and a Seal. Common. All right. Ooh, that one came out fresh. I'll get better as I go. There is no code cards, but I will open up official booster packs throughout the video, so stay tuned. Togepi, a Tentacruel, and a Gengar, and that's a rare. It's not a hollow, but it is a rare. I love Gengar. I'll take any Gengar I can get. All right, Alolan Diglett. Just did a short with Diglett. It's coming up. Fire Crystal. Oh, and a Sand Slash. And that is another rare. But no hollow. No hollow. What y'all think about these being in a, in, a, in a pack like that? I think they do it to keep it from being weighed easier. I don't know. Or they're being sold by resellers. I don't know. We'll know if we get some hits, right? A Grubbin. We got that Grubbin. Claymation kind of artwork. Laron. Ooh, and another rare. Persian. Non hollow. Captain Muddy Games, what up? John. I thought I saw John. Never mind. <laughs> Gengar, the best ghost type Pokemon ever. I agree. I completely agree. And it's still holding up to its fight in the games today. With the exception of the legendary ghost Pokemon. All right, I, I'm like about to guess the energy. Sandile, a Graveler, and a Salandit Uncommon. But we got a lot of packs to go through today, so you never know what's going to happen. We have 109, I think. I didn't put that on the uh, thumbnail just because I wanted to stick with the solid number. And yeah. Oh, we got an Ultra Beast Reverse Rare. Very cool. All right. What up, everyone? Hey, Glalie. What up, Captain? When's the last time y'all seen dollar packs cracked, right? I've been uh, buying these here and there until I got enough to do a nice opening. And I thought, why not test my live stream out some dollar packs? Car How the heck do you say that? Carja Bug. Karjaba. Karjaba. And a rat. It ended it with a rat. Nasty old rat. And let me know throughout the stream, y'all, how the quality is. Because y'all know I've had trouble. Polywag. Very cool card. I like that card. A Koga's Trap. And a Rhyhorn. Nothing yet, y'all. Nothing yet. Did get two reverse rares or reverse holographics. One of them is a rare. These have no codes in them either. Those dollar pack codes that sometimes you get, but they're not codes. They're just like an extra card. Energy and a Q bomb. Ooh, did I get scammed, y'all? Is this gonna be a scam video with like no hits? That'd be crazy too. I'm seeing another ride horn. Char he bog. UB is great set. Ooh, I love this set, bro. I just not have. The opportunity to collect it that's why I went ahead and bought a lot of dollar packs which is something I advise you not to do you can get a lot better stuff with that money a Darmanitan is a rare though and I'm definitely pulling a lot of cards I need for the set because this is a set that is pretty barren for my binder don't have 
a lot of the commons, uncommons, and rares. So it's a win-win for me. That's why I bought them all. Esper, Tentacruel, and the Squirtle. That OG looking artwork, loving it. Shout out Cool Squirtle Gaming. But lately, sometimes it's the only thing I can find, but it's all Unified Minds right now, which I'm not complaining about exactly. I have a nice pile of that going. I think I got about 30 or 40 dollar packs Glalie games, and I'm waiting to do a live stream with that one. Oop, baby girl just woke up, y'all. Might get a little noisy. We got a whooper, another energy. Hey, but we got a reverse holographic Volcanion, and that is a rare. All right. I love Unified Minds, right? What's your favorite card? I think I know what you're going to say, but we'll see if it's different than everybody else. Inke, a Green's Exploration. That's a nice artwork. And a Tentacool. Do y'all see that card? Do y'all see the top of that card? It got cut like a a border, or a, um, what did it call A divider. That has the same cut as a divider. Is that not crazy? I'm going to have to keep that. That was like in the dividers, getting cut with the dividers. Y'all know what I'm talking about? That divider has the weird ch ching Oh, I didn't even cut this one. Open it up old school. It's just so flimsy, y'all. That's why I don't like opening these by hand. Because there's not a lot of durability in there to keep from bending whatever's in there. Even though the chances of anything good being in there are slim, I don't want to mess up a possibly valuable card. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is like the toughest pack in the world. Okay, got it finally. Let's see if it was worth all the trouble. I thought I saw something. No, there's a whooper. Anyway. Y'all, I got Chilling Rain coming up Monday, tomorrow. Don't miss it. We got a Chilling Rain video dropping. Two more building battle kits. I had two more to open. And I wasn't about to do my live with that. Because I didn't want it to mess up again. We got another Squirtle. Shout out, Cool Squirtle Gaming. Energy Spinner. Hey, there's a rare. non hollow, but it's a rare. Miss Magius. And I love that Pokemon. What about y'all? Let's catch up with the chat. Sometimes it's the only thing I find. Not yet. I love Unified Minds. Weird. Mewtwo and Mewtwo laugh out loud. I pulled the rainbow out of a dollar pack. No, you didn't, Captain Muddy. You lucky. You lucky, lucky. What up, John? Hey, what's up, little nephew Gideon? Awesome. That's crazy, Captain. That's what I want to see today. I want to see if we can't pull one of those legendary chase cards out of one of these packs.